today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Guggen Filthy Frog. Is it good? That is the question we all are probably wondering here, if you can see that. That is the Guggen Filthy Frog. Got him, got him, yo. Got him, that's good. Got him, got him, let's go, let's go, let's go. Got him, got him, let's go. Got him, let's go. Look at that, look at that sauciness. Oh, it's so epic. Let me turn around for you, look at that. There's two of them, there's a smaller one, which is this guy right there, and there's a bigger one. I prefer the smaller frogs because I feel like you get more fish than you would if you were throwing the bigger frog because the smaller frog just has that like, I don't know, there's not like giant frogs out here on the chain. Like there's, I mean, there's little frogs and stuff, but I, I don't normally see a whole lot of giant frogs. All the frogs out here on the Harris chain are normally about this size. Like, so it is the perfect size out here on the Harris chain. So today we're gonna be testing it out. We're gonna be seeing if we can catch some fish on this. And then later on in today's video, I will be discussing my thoughts on it, my opinion, what I think about the frog. Is it good? Is it bad? Does it suck? I mean, who knows? Who knows? It might not catch fish, but we're gonna have to see. So wait and see. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. It's gotta catch fish. It's gotta catch fish. It looks so epic. So please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We're this close. We're 80, less 80-ish subscribers away from 4,000 subs. So please consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content, because I will do more if y'all subscribe, if y'all like the videos. Gotta like them up. If this video gets 100 likes, I will buy the other two frogs that Guggen makes. They make a poppin' frog and they have the bigger version of this as well. I'll buy all the frogs they make and I will do a comparison like versus the bigger frog versus little frog or poppin' frog versus like the not poppin' frog, you know? So make sure you like up today's video if you enjoyed it and I will do more froggy videos like this. Oh, it looks so good. It's gotta catch fish. So stay tuned. We're gonna start fishing. We're gonna see what happens. See if we can catch some fish on this frog. Got him, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, he choked it, look at that. That's so epic, oh my gosh, on the Guggen Filthy Frog, look at that. Oh, I looked away for two seconds and missed the blow up. Look at that, let's go. On the Guggen Filthy Frog, that's so epic. Like th this color on this frog looks freaking good. Like, I like it, I like it. Oh, those hooks just buried in there, oh yeah. Look at that, let's go. Got him, got him, y'all. Got him, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was sick. Holy cow. He freaking came all the way out from underneath the dock. I saw him come from like a mile away to come destroy this frog. Oh, oh man. Oh my gosh. That's insane. He came from like the far right side of this dock and was just crushed it. Got him, got him, let's go, let's go. Holy cow, that duckweed is so thick. He still got it though, look at that. That's crazy, y'all. So that is the third fish on the Guggen Frog. That is pretty cool, pretty neat. I like how it comes through duckweed, I gotta say. It comes through the duckweed pretty well. Like it doesn't get all stuck in it and all that, cause that can be so annoying when like, the frog is getting all stuck in the duckweed. But this is super thick duckweed, but even like the more sparse stuff. Got him, let's go. Let's go, another fish. <laughs> that was epic. That was so sick, the GoPro overheated in the back. But we got another fish, that's cool. That's cool, he was like, he barely just came up and just slurped it down. That was sick. So that is gonna wrap up the fishing for today's video. And now I wanna talk to you about my thoughts and opinions on this Guggen Frog. Looking good, looking saucy. There's a few design, uh, there's a few good designs on this frog that I really like and wanna talk to you all about. Look at that. Okay, so this came directly right out of the package. Boom, I tied it up, I was good to go. This guy, I'm like, oh, let me cut this guy and get these little things all over the boat because they're impossible to pick up because then I'll be going, eh, eh, eh picking all these little guys up if I cut this. That's 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 lame. I don't want it. No, I'm, I'm not gonna throw the frog. Don't waste it. But that is lame. I don't want to do that. 
pulled this guy right out of the package, started fishing with it immediately. That's the first thing I noticed. I'm like, huh, those little dealios there, look at that, look at that. I was like, they're short, they're really short. They're like unusually short comparing to other frogs. And I, I haven't even looked at another frog today. Like I literally pulled this guy out of the package and noticed that they were short. And I was like, that is awesome. That is so cool that they made them short on purpose because the first thing everyone does when they get a frog is they cut it and then, you know, stuff goes all over your boat and it's annoying. So that is awesome, convenience, thank you. So it was an overall great frog today. The action through the water was perfect. It came through the duckweed nice. It was really, really good. So comparing, I like throwing the Booyah Pad Crasher and this is it in my right hand here and the Guggen is in my left. Comparing these two frogs, the action on the Booyah Frog is like stealthier, it's quieter when you're like popping it real quick, like boom, 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 boom. It's like a, a stealthier, quieter sort of action through the water. And the Guggen Frog is more louder, like pop sound. So it's like pop, 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 like coming through the water as like you're twitching it really quick. And that's what gets those like reaction strikes. As you saw in like the second fish of the day, that fish came all the way out from underneath the dock, just destroyed it. And it was because of that action, just like it coming through the water real quick, I was working it super fast. It was like boop, 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 boop. So super epic. It's kind of something that like represents like maybe a swim bait coming through the water, whopper plopper, buzz bait, just like that loud reaction. And that's why I work a frog so fast to get that reaction strike. So overall, it's a great frog. I do want to show you all some of the designs on this frog that like really stand out. So as you can see, I'm gonna hold these two frogs side by side. So as you can see here, so look at this guy. You see how there's like a little piece of rubber in between the hook and it entering into the frog. That is awesome. It keeps water from getting in there. And then the other frog right here, the Booyah frog, there's nothing there. It just goes into the frog. So water could potentially get in there, but on this side, no water. So it was epic. There wasn't a whole lot of water that got in the frog at all today. So that's pretty awesome. There wasn't a whole lot of water that was getting in the frog. And you know, like you have to, you have to get the frog and you have to like squeeze all the water out like that. You have to like squeeze it out. I didn't have to do that at all today because of that awesome little feature. So those are my thoughts and opinions. I think it's an awesome frog. If y'all liked it and you think it's a frog for you, you should definitely pick it up. This is the smaller one. This is like the junior or whatever it's called. It's a smaller frog compared, like it's their smaller model. You know, they, they make a bigger one, but the smaller one is the frog for me. I really enjoyed it today. It was a good frog. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Guggen frog. And with that being said, we're gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see a future video like this. If this video gets 100 likes, I will do another video just like this with Guggen frogs. I'll maybe might buy their bigger one or some different colors or their popping frog. Let me know down in the comments. It's hot out here in Florida. I'm gonna head out. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe, like up the video, and I will see y'all for an episode of Tyler's Fishing Post. Boom!